Isn't it beautiful? Hi. See, in the garden, we nature. I'm loving being out here today. It really is just a beautiful day. I have so much I want to get done today. How much I get done, who knows? But I'm also just enjoying being here today, just taking in the sun, natural rhythm D, of course, fresh air, listening to the birds. But my task today is to unravel my banana plant that I've had underneath this mess through the winter. It was done with intention. So what I do is that I pick up these polystyrene containers that I pick up from a local wholesalers um, that they would otherwise throw away and I use them as insulators to cover the banana trees. If you have a look here actually this will give you an indication of how big some of the limbs were on the banana tree when I cut it last year. So I just slice that down and I leave it in situation so that it can become mulch over the coming months. I'm going to take all this polystyrene off and the banana trees are underneath here and I'm going to just see how well they're doing. We're fast moving into spring now so I'm really hoping that the ground has warmed up enough sufficiently that we don't have any more frost but it's not impossible it's still possible that we can have some frost. I've also got this big bag of leaves. These leaves I have collected from a tree over there. So what am I going to do with these leaves? Well, if you know me, you know I'm going to be composting them in one way or another. But you know what? Before I do, I must show you something that's just growing out of this bucket. Look at this. Look at this. The tiniest of things. But isn't that beautiful when nature just has the right conditions and it knows exactly what to do? And you've got a seed that has dropped in here and it's just regrowing. And that's just so beautiful. That's just nature all over for you. Okay, so with this bag of leaves, I'm going to remove it from the polana plant and then use the leaves to become the mulch as well. So it's win-win as always in my garden. No pesticides, no herbicides. I'm not going to have to go to the DIY centres to go and get some mulch in. I've got it ready made. So leaves are already beginning to break down and I'm just going to use that to put on top of my banana plant to keep the soil nice and moist. These plants really, really love plenty of water. So this is a great way of maintaining the moisture in the soil and of course, keeping down the weeds. So here it goes. I know that when I lift this up, I'm likely to find something underneath here, possibly a frog, a toad, maybe some worms. And the lovely thing about putting planks of wood around sometimes is that when I lift it up, and if there are worms and little critters and things, the birds just come because what I've done is just reveal food for nature. So I love doing that. I'm sure I won't be, yes, as expected. Plenty of worms in this area here. And that's a good sign for the soil as well. It just means that there's a lot of um, nature going on underneath this soil. The worms are breaking down this tissue and making more and more soil. So it's a win-win situation as always. A big bag of leaves. I'm just gonna pull this out. <laughs> See how Ooh, okay. And so what I did, and if you're able to come a bit closer, I sit there. Just be mindful because I know I do find toads around this area here. That's the banana plant that I chopped down um, late last year and what I can see that it is already trying to bring up some new growth so that's really a good sign for me. I can also see here another small shoot up here, it's only very small, you can see that as well and this is a great sign because it just means that it's survived the winter and that has to be a good thing. I used some fleece cloth here which I use repeatedly year after year so I don't throw that away and I've made very good use of that. It just helps to insulate this. And then I put some of those boxes that I get for free from the wholesalers on top of it, just to create some insulation. 
what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the leaves that are partly breaking down to mulch around the area. These were just loads and loads of leaves. I can see some worms in here already. You can see that beautiful friend. And it's already beginning to break down. So this is just leaf mulch. I'm gonna put these in the beds behind me and it's gonna to help to maintain the water in the soil, which the plants will really, really appreciate. Great stuff. So these I'll put away and bring them out again in the winter so I don't throw them away. I make good use of these. bed some canna lilies and they also like the bananas are really sensitive to frost so I can see some of those coming up again I know a lot of people dig theirs out over the winter and plant them in a pot and store them in a shed or so but to be honest I leave mine in situation and then again like the banana trees I just mulch over them that's what I'm going to use this leaves for and as it breaks down it adds a lot of nutrients back into the soil and it's um, helping nature do what it, it does best, which is to remain sustainable. The temperature in the soil is slowly rising and the plants are really responding well to that. I try to water the garden as little as possible. So by adding these leaves here, they really do retain a lot of moisture and it really does help with cutting down the amount of water these plants need. So I'm gonna carry on. I put my grass cuttings here as well. You can probably see the last lot of grass cuttings from last year. That's just breaking down. potatoes in this area as well just to make use of the moist very rich soil and I've got some volunteer potatoes that have decided to come back up here I can't remember the name of this one but they were very delicious these were purple potatoes I've saved some to keep a seeds to re-sow and um, I'm just glad that I've got some something that the, the potatoes are growing back up again there's a few others here as well I'll leave them in there and if I get some bonus potatoes this year why not there's another one of the banana plants and again once I take the coverings off it's always lovely to see that they have survived the winter and this one has I can tell because it's already trying to put on some more shoots I've also got some canna lilies in the market in this area like this one here here canna lilies can't beat free garden resources, stuff that I can use to mulch and to garden. So this stuff, which is already breaking down, is going to be really enjoyed by my plants. I'll have to bring you back to show you when these banana plants really start shooting upwards. Look, <laughs> look, damp, moist leaves. People put these into their bins and get the council to take them away, but this is just rich stuff. Okay, 
Okay, so I brought the pot out. That's the one that's been in the shed through the winter. Here's the pot. I'm just going to see whether it has survived. Let's have a look. There's something in there. I think it's a bit yeah. Well, I have. Some of the tube is here. Let's have a look. That's nice. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Because what that's showing me is that the roots are growing back again. Just slightly. There's a few small roots on here. And the plant is definitely making an attempt to grow. So it's been worth me digging some of them up and putting them away in the shed. I have a few small ones here. And I'm going to plant those out now. Yes, I definitely have. So what I've got to do now is dig myself the hole and replant the banana tree. So that's what you're going to see me doing now. to break down the soil a little bit just to make it a little bit loose so the roots don't have too much friction the roots can pass through here quite easily I'm not sure how many pieces and that's the main bit I'm going to plant it the right way upwards However, actually, if I planted it, if I planted it downwards, then what tends to happen is actually have more plants growing upwards. More plants will grow from this one tuber. But for this particular one, I'm going to plant it right side up. Space out the roots just slightly. Pop it on top of the soil. And backfill. These plants do love water, so I will water it in. It's a beautiful worm. Hello. I'm not sure her name, but it might be Agnes. I have a feeling she's an Agnes. I'll put her just underneath here. Just throw them in. And cover that up. All these leaves, grass clippings, beautiful stuff. Okay, just so I can see where it is, I'm just going to use this old branch so I know to give it plenty of water as it's growing. Job done. There we have it. It looks like a mess I know, but I promise you this is nature at its best. Um, feels good. I'm pleased with that job. <laughs> Got so many others to do, but I must let you know, look at that magnolia tree above my head. Isn't she beautiful? Moisture there. Just taking that blue sky. Isn't that beautiful? Bee in the garden. Bee in nature.